Hi everybody, this is Sierra Baker. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about what UAH puts us through. Uh, I just got back home from a weekend and, hmm, let's see. <laughs> Here in housing, we have our own little kitchen in South Hall. I live in 702B and I come back to this. There is a leak in the floor. I've told them about it several times. Did they come? No. But obviously the refrigerator is leaking from somewhere. There are bugs in the floor. Let me remind you that they told me they had to clean this place before I moved in. When I got back today, there was a leak. As you can see, the stove is covered in a brown liquid. Here is one of the spots where the liquid has come from on the cabinet obviously and then there's a spot up here on on the roof on the ceiling I'm at right there I don't know if you just caught that but from that little string in the middle of the screen there is brown liquid coming from it and it drops here comes a, there just went another drop I don't know if there is a leak in the toilet but as you can see from this that there's been a leak for a while and obviously UAH and its maintenance team or whoever does stuff about things, nobody obviously, hasn't looked at it because it's obviously not a safe situation and they obviously don't care about their students. Once again, here is the mess that it's made over the weekend since I've been gone. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. On the walls here, you'll see there is another brown substance I guess it's from grease or cooking um, up there you see the outlets right here this is where this doesn't even go flush with the wall because it's stuck and it's pretty it's a pretty bad situation that we're living in here um, they got us the new dorms and everything but they hold us back from moving in until they feel it's time and what I mean by that is that they sent out nothing to tell the students that oh we have a procedure for um, students to be able to move into places early but international students and students from out of state like my friend and I who have no other home here and no friends in this state we have to be homeless for basically three weeks and even if we weren't, would you want to live in a situation like this? I mean, come on. I think people that live in crack houses have it better than we do here at UAH. Once again, let me get you a close-up on the situation in the kitchen. This is trash. I would not wish for my worst enemy to live in this situation. The cabinet is wet. The wood is hanging down from where they've neglected the issue for so long and there are centipedes coming out of the wall not good see all that area here's the affected area there's the area where there's been no water damage now you tell me what does that look like another thing I usually come home to a brown recluse hmm who wants to be bitten by a brown recluse not me so if anybody knows of any help that anyone could give on how to make your school listen to your issues and see the seriousness of it, feel free to email me at sb0020 at uah.edu. Thanks for listening.